As you can tell by the image, what we're going to be talking about today is microplastics. Now, normally when we talk about microplastics, we talk about water pollution. We talk about it getting inside your system through the food you eat and your food packaging. We talk about it causing various cancers and the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. But today, I found out that microplastics are actually literally in the air. We are breathing microplastics at all time, and they're basically just particulate pollution. And that by breathing microplastics, which, by the way, you can't avoid, so don't worry, even try, uh, it will lead to lung and colon cancers. It's been linked to both male and female uh, infertility, a variety of diseases and mental disorders. And uh, it says they may contribute to chronic pulmonary inflammation, which can increase the risk of lung cancer, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. So this study comes from the University of San Francisco, and it does, to be clear, mostly focus on animals. These are animal studies where they would biopsy the lungs of animals, see what animals are taking in. And what they discovered is that a surprising amount of the microplastic pollution in animals' bodies did not come from water, but was instead from the air that they were breathing. Now, they obviously didn't, you know, rip open a human to check their lungs, but uh, they're saying that they expect humans to have a very similar level of microplastic pollution as animals because, well, we're kind of all breathing the same air. You know, you might filter it a little bit in your house, but realistically, we're mostly breathing the same air. And this is very concerning because now even the air has microplastic. Oh, my God.